What's up? Wayne Barron here with my vlog, and as you can tell, we are outside today. It's a little windy. It looks nice outside, so I decided to come out here and build um, our turtle, which is about that big around now. His name is Jr. To build him or her a case. Since we've had Jr., we've had Jr. since uh, around the 25th or 26th of March of 2012. Uh, we obtained JR by accident. I actually almost stepped on him. My son saw him and stopped me right before I stepped on him, and he was about that big around. And he's been with us ever since. Uh, he's named JR after my brother, who actually passed away a week before we found JR. You need an enclosure that's dry, basically, so he's going to have... Well, what we got right here is that um, the I'm going to cut it across here, and then this part right here is going to be basically the base, the bottom floor. And over in this corner here, we're going to have a water area so that he can go in and out of the water. Over here, I'm going to have a little enclosure so he can actually go inside this enclosure. So that's what we're going to be making today, is that we're actually going to build a turtle home for JR. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to make this 24 inches wide, which is what we've got here. Luckily, this is an actually 24 inch wide piece of board, and we want it to be 9 inches deep. So we're going to bring it. The reason why we're doing 9 inches is that I'm going to set it on top of a bookcase, and the bookcase is 9 inches uh, deep. And so we've got 9 inches by 24, and then we're going to do 6 inches tall. And so we're going to do, and then we're going to cut out this for our floor. So let's go ahead and do that now. For those that are that have long hair, you know that the wind can sometimes get to you. So I gotta put my hair someplace where I can actually keep it out of my way and work. So that all of the people out there that say that having long hair is a pain, not if you know how to take care of it. So we're gonna cut this out. This side was cut out and it's not level, so we need to remeasure. So we're actually going to do this about up in here. Okay, so this right here will take care of our bottom base. And so now what we got to do is that this piece right here, I'm going to cut into sections. So it's going to be uh, most likely the two front sides. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get, I might be able to get one of the sides out of this. So we're going to go ahead and just cut this right here. And that'll give us one of the sides. Okay, so we've got our side done, which is not the straightest cut in the world. This is not exactly the same wood, but it's a piece that is not being used for anything, so it's going to work out really good to do what I need it to do.
Okay, so we got that one. Perfect. We've got our floor. And we've got our two walls. And then we got our two corners. And so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to sand this all down. I should not have laid this on the ground. So, I'm going to sand this all down using this. And uh, I wish I had some other way to do it because this joker makes your hand go numb. So that's what I'm going to do next, and it's going to take a little while, so I'll see y'all when it's done. Okay, well, as you can see, I've got everything sanded down really nicely, and I'm already starting to assemble everything. And I sort of made my sides a little bit too big because I cut my, my sides. I went ahead and left the original, if y'all remember. Um, the original went all the way across, so I just kept it that, um, that uh, width, length. Yeah. Anyway, so um, what I'm doing now is I'm just attaching everything. And so basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm using screws to attach it with. And simply just... I'm getting in the screw just long enough to where I can sit it here. And sit it right in the middle. And then push down on it, and whenever you push down, it gives you a, a good enough seat to where you can drill it in. So there's no splintering of the wood as you are screwing the screw in. So let's go ahead and get this back in here. Then we got our center one right here, which we can just. And then that's got that part of it. So it's going to give them this area right here. As I want to put in uh, like a little shelter so they can actually go inside of it, uh, which I usually keep that room pretty dim anyway because it's inside of my office, which is actually my son's room. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have. Uh, this area right here is he's gonna be able to walk into here to be uh, to get out of everything this is gonna be an open area right here and then this is this area right here is gonna be where all the uh, where his uh, little pool is gonna be at that I'm gonna put in so that's gonna be that and uh, so yeah now the next thing I gotta do is uh, put in the sides and so that's what we're gonna do right now so we're just gonna go ahead and use this piece right here they cut me out two 10 by fives. Basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set this on here like so, and just create some drill holes, <clears throat> and then uh, secure it. Good for that side. Now let's come over here. Yeah, okay, that's basically it. I basically finished it up for what I'm going to be doing for the woodworking part of it, at least for right now. 
I've got this little slot right here. So uh, whenever JR is is inside here, this part right here, I would be able to lift off from here and be able to see him inside of here. So uh, that right there is going to be pretty cool for him. Like I said, this part right here is going to be where the, uh, his little pool is going to be at. And this right here is going to be basically his living space, have fun, run around, party, do whatever it is that little turtles do. And uh, i like to close out this video with uh, Teacher's Day was uh, this past week. And I got in contact with my favorite teacher uh, through email and to wish her a very happy Teacher's Day. Uh, this teacher, uh, whenever I was going to school, she was known as Miss Cox. And she was my favorite teacher from the first day I laid eyes on her until well today. She has influenced me in more ways than she could ever possibly even fathom. Uh, she is the reason why I do a lot of things that I do. The teaching that I do uh, is because of her. My channel, Dark Effects, which I can check out right here just in case y'all do not know about it. Uh, I wouldn't be teaching people how to do stuff if it was not for this woman and her teaching and how she inspired me to do whatever it is that I wanted and wished to be able to do. She was basically the only teacher that did not give up on me. And I, I wasn't the model student by no means. And so, but to have a teacher that would actually take the time to help this student right here, even though I hardly was ever in school, just it, it weighs heavily on me. And she is a very, very, very wonderful woman. I love you to death, Miss Cox. She is known today uh, with her maiden name, Miss Fashi. So uh, this is a shout out to Miss Fashi and to every other teacher out there. I hope that y'all had a great, great week with y'all's Teacher's Day. And uh, yeah, keep on doing what you do. We love y'all. Bye-bye.